God bless you, brothers and sisters. God bless you all. I am here to come and give the words of God as I normally do to encourage you, to make you have strong faith in God. Because that is the only way that we keep you going in this end time. Because the Bible said that many have called, few are choosing. Today topic, I want you to be very conscious of what you will allow into your spirit. Be very careful because what you allow into your spirit, either it will break you or it will what? It will make you. So that's why you need to listen to the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said we should go into his, into the world and preach his words, his good news and win souls to him. But Christ never sent us to start causing confusion in the body of Christ because God said, I am not utter of confusion. Never, God forbid, our God is not utter of confusion. And even the Bible said in the book of Exodus that no one should use the God, the name of our God in vain. Because whoever that does so, there is what well, there is a lot of consequences in that. We should be very careful what we allow into our spirit. Because a lot of people are go out there now deceiving many. The Bible also says in the book of Matthew that many will come in my name and deceive many. Brothers or sisters, please, this is what I have for you today. You should be very conscious of your soul. And very careful what you will allow into your spirit. That's why we always tell you, brothers and sisters, to study your Bible because the Bible says study yourself and make yourself approved. Many people they are not studied today, they will allow wrong things into their spirit. A lot of people are there now, they are confused, they are what many of them they have depression. A lot of people have mental disorder because they don't know what to do. They just go out, they start, start using the word of God, the name of God in vain, con causing confusion, causing problem in the body of Christ. But God is not out of confusion because God will surely bring those that is using in name in vain, we bring them down. Brothers and sisters, you should be very careful so that you will not be misled. Are you hearing me? So a lot of them is there. The Bible also talk about fools. You know that. He said the words of a fool seem right in their own eyes. And so many of them, they are not wise at all. They will just wake up and pick up their mic or whatever they call it, start causing confusion. When you study your Bible, you will know what God is talking about. And when you study your Bible, you will understand who is preaching the right gospel and who is causing confusion in the body of Christ. That's why you, brothers and sisters, today, I pray today that God will give you that zeal, that hunger, so that you can study your Bible. Any spirit that will not allow you to study the word of God and make yourself approved, may that spirit be destroyed away in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that you will not be misled in the last day so that your soul will be saved this is what i have for you today brothers and sisters i have nothing else to tell you i just want to let you know that many is out there to cause confusion to deceive you to lead you away from your belief you should be very conscious of your soul and what and study the word of god it will help you in this end time because there is end time teachers there is end time preachers there is end time prophet and there is end time also those that 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 are behaving foolishness you know bible said it also that a lot of them a lot of people they are not wise and those they say it's only food that say there is no god and meaning now a lot of them is there behaving like fools are you hearing me? Because they are using the name of God in vain. If you should read your Bible very well. Bible said no one should use the name of God in vain. So I wonder why people will just wake up on their sleep, pick up their Bible. Some of them don't even pick up their Bible. They will just be saying things. God say, God do this. God say, this. God say that. God is not out of confusion. God loves his children. God wants every one of us to come to the true knowledge of him, to come to repentance so that we will be saved. God will never see his children go destroy. God will never stand that. God loves us so much but I am not giving you the lessons to go and sin because the soul that sin shall die. Are you hearing me? But just turn your way to God. If your way is not right with God, turn today to God because the Bible also said that a prayer of a sinner is abomination to God. So that's why we should follow the way of God so that in the last day, our soul will be saved and we will make heaven. Heaven is free. Hell is free. We all know that that is very true but be conscious of your soul and when you are following any 
man of God, woman of God, any preachers that are using the name of God in vain. By their fruit, you shall know them. You don't need to argue. You don't need to cause them. Just stay away from their page so that you will not also sin. Are you hearing me? If you cannot, if you know that what they are saying is not true, get right from there. Leave their page immediately. Are you hearing me, brothers and sisters? Don't stay in their page. Leave there and don't comment what nonsense. Don't comment rubbish. Just go away because you know the truth. You know the truth for yourself. That's why Jesus Christ also gave us the Holy Spirit. He said the Holy Spirit will teach you all truth. He will reveal the truth about God to us. When you start studying your Bible from today, the Holy Spirit of God will come inside you. We start teaching you all truth. How you need to live your life is the Spirit of God that can convince us our wrongdoing, that can convince us our sin, that can convince us if we are serving God right or we are not serving it right. All we need to do when the Spirit of God convinces us our sin is for we to repent and turn away from that sin. Brothers and sisters, may God richly bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shalom.